I think that the decisions in this area have, have led to, to our uh, reputation for having courts that are unfavorable to, to business and it's, it's stifling our economy. Um, the system, or the way the law is written now, allows a plaintiff's attorney to file um, a claim against a solvent company for exposure to asbestos. Once they get their settlement or, or judgment uh, in, in the, the civil court system, they then go ahead and file uh, against the bankruptcy trust. In, in essence, they're double dipping. 30% of asbestos-related deaths are com uh, comprised of veterans who have been exposed to asbestos. A solvent defendant pays what the jury believes is needed to make the plaintiff whole, but then the plaintiff files trust claims after trial and retains more money for the same harm. Under House Bill 1645, juries would be more fully informed of a plaintiff's exposure to asbestos to properly decide liability. This would ensure veterans and other claimants in the future receive adequate compensation. Research has revealed that plaintiffs filed an average of 18 asbestos trust claims. Twelve other states have enacted similar asbestos trust claim disclosure laws and the National Conference of Insurance Legislators and COIL adopted similar model legislation. The, the nature of the litigation has changed and so as the big players have exited, we're seeing smaller businesses uh, being pulled into the litigation. Um, if there are liabilities, uh, our member companies are willing to pay for those if, they, if there are legitimate claims. I think the concern is that um, there are other exposures being alleged in the trust that our member companies are not aware of and are not able to defend against. And so this bill will bring both those uh, aspects into, into uh, the same arena so that um, those issues can be fairly litigated.